Warning! This show discusses craft brewed beer and is intended for viewers over the age of 21. Viewer discretion is advised. Drink responsibly! Well, it's time to belly up to the bar and find out what's on tap at Brews or Brian. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Bruiser Brian, your weekly craft beer review podcast here on the Lotus Sports Network. Check out the hat. Guys, each and every week, man, we talk about craft beer, man. My co-host Bill, he'll join us in a minute. Um, we pick a beer from around the world and talk about it, tell you what we think. Hope you try it. Um, you know, our opinions don't mean much, but, you know, we are very appreciative of you watching the show. But guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Guys, this week we've got a liquid hoppiness IPA. It's a juicy IPA from Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada makes some fantastic beer. Probably the best pale ale on the market. Probably been the last 30 years. And uh, this company knows what they're doing. Check it out here in the picture. You can tell, man, this thing looks incredible, don't it? Look at that picture. You know you like it. Anyway, guys, let's get into the review. That's why you're here. This thing pours a mildly hazy medium orange color with a moderate white head. Again, you can tell that in the picture right there. Uh, milder aromas of orange, tangerine, hints of tropical pineapple. Again, that's what juicy means when re referring to an IPA. Very fruit forward. You got moderately juicy flavors of orange and tangerine, tropical pineapple, some bitterness off the end, and it's mildly sweet, which you would imagine a fruity beer would be. It's medium bodied, appropriate carbonation, and some sweetness that lingers. And guys, I, I compared this to Sierra Nevada's Hazy Little Thing. It's another IPA they have. And it pours very similarly. Uh, milder aromas, more tropical tangerine and orange in this one. Uh, less lemon citrus and pineapple, but it's heavier and sweeter. This thing's weighing in about 7%, so not too bad. You can easily drink a, a couple of these. But overall, this thing was an okay, hazy IPA. It leans tropical and lightly sweet. Leans toward a sweeter tropical and resinous flavor that does um, a, a lot of work. You know, for me, like I, I, I love this beer. Like I said, it's pretty good. Uh, slightly sweeter than your hazy little thing. You know, the beer I just compared it to. Yet the flavor doesn't quite pop as much as it should probably. I mean, I still love this thing, but... When I want a juicy IPA, I really want them fruit flavors to pop. But guys, you know, check it out. I mean, you know, I'm just one man's opinion. We'll hear Bill's in a minute. But uh, check this thing out. Sierra Nevada makes some fantastic beer. This thing should be available everywhere that you find your favorite beer. Hey, guys, the world's a tough place. We all know it. I mean, the past couple of years has been rough on everybody. Uh, if you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, today's sponsor is here to help you. Today's sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private, online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000-plus therapist network that gives access to help that may not be available in your area. And guys, just be truthful, even if it is even if it is available in your area, maybe you went to high school with a therapist or college, you don't feel comfortable talking to somebody about your problems, and that's understandable. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you can get matched with the therapist in as little as 48 hours. Then you schedule your secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages, and everything you share is completely confidential. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. You can join the 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with experienced BetterHelp therapists. Guys, all you got to do is get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Loaded Sports Network. That's BetterHelp.com slash Loaded Sports Network. Let's bring the guys back in. BetterHelp.com, H-E-L-P.com slash Loaded Sports Network for 10% off your first month. But guys, let's uh, go ahead and get into Bill right here. Bill's our weekly co-host. Uh, Bill's a traveling man. Again, riding that Harley across the U.S. No telling what the man's doing. 
Again, we're trying to get with him for the question and answer show. Still can't get him down. He sends me text messages uh, reviewing the beer, and that's about all the contact I have uh, for the last couple months with him. But like I said, man, he's a he's a storyteller. You can check him out here each and every week, pouring a beer into the brews with Brian Mug right before he tells us how he feels. And he loves it, guys. Again, you know, we seem to pair pretty well on our palates as far as beer. Bill loves this beer. He says you should check it out. And don't worry about him. He's fine. He's just riding that Harley across the U.S. But, Bill, we'll see you later, buddy. Guys, we got Bruiser Brian Bar Trivia right here. The question from last week is, you know, why should you not drink a beer that is really cold? Which is sacrilege, you know, to beer drinkers. You know, here's your answer, though. Cold temperatures dull the tongue. Your tongue is unable to perceive as many flavors when cold. This means that ale, with its complex flavor profile, is better served at room temperature. But it does say, while lagers worked well chilled, as it has fewer flavors to lose. Guys, the question for this week is, which ancient civilization is said to have been the first to make beer? Do you know that one? That one could be a little difficult. Let's ask, let's, uh, ask the question again. Which ancient civilization is said to have been the first to make beer? And guys, we'll get the answer to that question next week. Just want to thank everybody again for listening. The show continues to grow each and every week. You can watch the video show on YouTube and Spotify. Check out LotusSportsNetwork.com. Pick yourself up a t-shirt. We'd really, really appreciate that. It'd help us out a lot. But guys, like I said, you can listen to the show anywhere you find your favorite podcast, and we hope we're part of that group. But guys, don't forget to stop back by Bruce Brian, where knowledge is always on tap.